Hey everybody, Miss Mary bringing you our final virtual story time here from Midpoint Library. I have had so much fun making these for you all and I hope you have fun watching them. I'm kind of relaxed and laid back because, you know, it's our last one. Senioritis, we're going to goof off. I've got my cool Midpoint socks again because they're kind of awesome and, you know, socks. And I also brought some friends today. I'll bet you all know Pigeon and Duckling and Elephant and Piggy and Knuffle Bunny. These are all characters from our friend Mo Willems. He has written so many books. I'm sure you know Don't Let the Pigeon Ride the Bus. And a whole, did I say ride the bus? Miss Mary, you're getting tired. Don't Let Pigeon Drive the Bus. And Elephant and Piggy have a whole bunch of stories too. Here's some knowledge I'm gonna lay on you. Piggy's name, well, her name is Piggy. And the elephant's name, did you know the elephant's name is Gerald? Do you know why? Grown-ups will like this one. Mr. Willems, who created these characters, his favorite singer is Ella Fitzgerald. So if you say Elephant Gerald fast enough, it sounds like Ella Fitzgerald. How about that? So Mr. Willems was pretty cool, and do you know what he said? When he found out that we were doing virtual story times, he said, you can read all my books if you want to. Well, I'm not gonna read all of them. But I am gonna read some that you probably haven't heard before. Are you ready? If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story and you want us all to know, if you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story and you want us all to know, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, wiggle your toes. If you're ready for a story, wiggle your toes. If you're ready for a story and you want us all to know, if you're ready for a story, wiggle your toes. All right. So you have probably read many pigeon books and some piggy and elephant books. So today I have two books for you that were written for us by Mo Willems, but are not pigeon or elephant and piggy. This first one is called Manette's Baguettes. You know, a baguette is one of those big long breads and her name is Nanette. Pretty clever title considering it's about Nanette and her baguettes. This book has so many rhyming words. Do you remember rhyming words? Words that rhyme are words that sound alike at the end. Okay? <clears throat> You're gonna go crazy with all the rhyming words. Guys, is it okay if I hold the book in front of you? All right, thanks. Nanette! Today is a day Nanette won't soon forget. Today, in the kitchenette, Mom tells Nanette that Nanette gets to get the baguette. Baguettes are warm. Baguettes smell wonderful. Getting to get the baguette is Nanette's biggest responsibility yet. Is Nanette set to get the baguette? You bet! But on the way, Nanette sees Georgette, and Suzette, and Brett with his clarinet. Look, there's Mr. Barnett with his pet, Antoinette. Nanette pets Antoinette. Did Nanette forget the baguette? Got a jet! I've got a baguette to get, says Nanette to the quartet. Quartet means four people. Baker Juliet has met Nanette. She knows it is Nanette's first baguette get. So Juliet gets Nanette the best baguette yet. Nanette, did you get the baguette? You bet. The baguette is warm. The baguette smells wonderful. And there sure is a lot of it. Crack! The baguette is warm. The baguette tastes wonderful. And there's still a lot of it. Crack! The baguette is still warm. The baguette still tastes wonderful. And there's still some of it. Can it, Nanette, stop tasting the baguette? Not yet! Crack, 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 crack. Mmm, baguette. Mm. <gasps> oh no! There is.
there's no more baguette. Nanette begins to fret. Will mom be upset? Will mom regret she let Nanette get the baguette? Kaboom! Now, Nanette is wet. Wet with no baguette. This is as bad as it can get. Nanette wishes mom had never let Nanette get that baguette. Maybe Nanette will move to Tibet. Tibet is as far away as you can get. Nanette would need a jet. Can Nanette go home instead? Can Nanette face her mom? What will she do? Where is the baguette, Nanette? Asks mom. Did you forget? Nanette did not forget. Nanette is upset. Nanette is beset with regret. She sweats. I ate the baguette. Oh, sweetie. Mom hugs Nanette. It is warm. It is wonderful. Like a million baguettes. The day is not over yet, Nanette says mom. Let's reset. Yes, let's. Baker Juliet is surprised to see Nanette, but not too surprised. Nanette's mom gets another baguette. Now they are all set. Mom, Nanette, and a baguette. The baguette is warm. The baguette smells wonderful. Crack! Mom! Today is a day Nanette won't soon forget. And look, there are the baguettes, all crunched and eaten. I like that one. That's almost a hard story to read because of so many rhyming words, it's kind of a tongue twister. So, in addition to these buddies here, I also brought some more friends with me because I was thinking it's springtime, you know. And there will be some bunnies coming out soon. I saw a few in my neighborhood. So I have for you four little bunnies. Let's make sure. I thought there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little bunnies, sweet as can be. One hopped away, and then there were her three. <laughs> That wasn't so much a hop as it was a tumble, but that's okay. Three little bunnies I once knew. One hopped away, and then there were two. One, two. Two little bunnies. Oh, what fun. One hopped away, <laughs> and then there was one. One little bunny playing in the sun. She hopped away. And then there were none. Kind of silly, huh? Well, we all know how Miss Mary feels about silly. So, one of my favorite Mo Willems books is this one. It's called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. Now, usually, when I read this story, I follow, follow it up by singing my favorite version of Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. You know, the one that goes head, shoulders, knees, and underpants. If you haven't heard that one yet, look for our other videos because we've got that great song in there. This one is called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed and it was written and illustrated for us by Mo Willems. I like this one a lot because it's kind of about being your own person. Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. <clears throat> there is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. Number one, they are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. And three, they are all naked. <clears throat> well, they were, with one exception. Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, 
heard that, they said, ew, yuck. If you like clothes so much, why don't you open a store or something? Naked mall rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. The other naked mole rats did not. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked, naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Why not? Asked Wilbur. <sighs> Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Hmm. Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Ah, uh, hmm. Huh. And then he thought some more. Oh. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, gather the colony, I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. A proclamation. A proclamation. A proclamation. But Wilbur had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. Look here. He's wearing only socks. Hmm. Don't worry, I'm going to keep my clothes on. <clears throat> but maybe he didn't play it safe enough. He's wearing socks. Nobody else is wearing anything. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat <clears throat> and proclaimed, Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then, Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. And when he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you really only need to know three things. Number one, some of the naked mole rats were naked. Two, some of the naked mole rats were clothed. And three, all of the naked mole rats had a great time. The end. Isn't that wonderful fun? That kind of makes me want to go and find some crazy things to wear. But how about if we get a little bit of exercise? You know, we've been sitting all this time. Let's all stand up and I've got a little song that we can sing while we walk. Are you ready? It goes like this. Walking, 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 walking. Hop, hop, hop. I have to hold on to this stuff so it doesn't hit me in the face. Hop, hop, hop. Walking, 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 now we stop. Remember, I know we've talked a little bit about sign language sometimes. This is how you say stop. Hold one hand out flat and take your other, other hand flat and make the pinky hit your palm. 
You got it? How about some tiptoeing? Go up on your toes and we'll say tiptoe, 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 hop, 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 tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. Now we stop. How about marching? You know how the guys do in the bands in the parade? Your knees go up really high like this. Marching, 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 marching. Hop, 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 hop. Marching, 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 marching. Now we stop. Yeah. All righty. Hey, grown-ups, don't be afraid to play with your kids. You know, it's kind of fun to do this sort of stuff. And if you think you're too grown up for it, well, I have a master's degree and I'm doing all the silly stuff, so why don't you? All right, <clears throat> are you ready? We're gonna sing our farewell song. See you later, alligator, after a while, crack a dial, give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. How about a good activity to do after story time? You know what you could do? You could come up with a whole bunch of rhyming words. Remember nanettes, baguettes, everything ended with the word et, or with the sound et. Baguette, nanette, Suzette. Brett and his clarinet. Maybe you could think of rhyming words, right? I'll bet that if you sit with your grown-up, if your grown-up gives you a word, like let's say cat, then you can come up with rhyming words to match it, like hat and mat and sat and pat, and oh, you can just keep going and going and going. It's really fun to make up rhyming words. All right, I wanna thank you again for joining us for, with for virtual story time from Midpoint Library. I want you to know that we miss you very much and we're excited for the next time we get to get together in person. Take care, wash your paws, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.